Welcome to this tutorial, solving a Sudoku cube. Now, if you're watching this video, you've probably struggled a lot with solving your Sudoku cube. Maybe you've also noticed that all the other tutorials doesn't really help much. But trust me, this one will. So let's get started. As you'll notice, solving a Sudoku cube is almost exactly like solving a Rubik's cube. At least the way I learned. Uh, if you're interested, you can search Buck O'Connor's Easy Rubik's Cube Solving for Kids. Now, the first thing you want to do uh, with solving your Sudoku cube is get a picture like this of how a Sudoku cube looks when it's solved. After that, we can continue. Most of the people who solve Rubik's Cubes usually start at the white side. And with um, R Sudoku Cubes, most people start at the six side, where we are going to start. Now we agreed that we're going to start at a six side. So the second important thing you need to do is to get your centerpieces in the right position. So, if we look at the memo here, the 5 is on the opposite side of the 6. So we search for the 5 centerpiece, here it is. He's at the moment at the right hand side. So, we turn it to the opposite side. Now, we have the 4, the four on the left hand side. And see here, which is correct, and seven here at the right hand side, and a one at the bottom, and a one in front of the six. Now you need it one to turn all these numbers here upright. So now we're getting at really solving this cube. Now, the first number here is, we're going to look at in this diagram, is an 8 over a 2. So, we're going to search for the 8 over the 2. Sometimes it's up already, as we can see. So, now we want to bring it down from here where we are, and just turn it away. So that we can turn this side up right again. Now, uh, I just want to search for the front position. Here's the front position. It's in the right position. And we just turn it in. And our first center piece is now upside down, which is correct. So, now, if you were confused with me saying the 8 over the 2 need to go here, I've cut out a diagram uh, for you to see, um, so it is easier to see which number is next. So here you can see the 8 over the 2, which is what I did. Now the next number is the 4 over the 9. So, going back to the cube, we need to search for this 4 over the 9. Maybe it's up here, sometimes it is, and sometimes it's just under. Oh, here it is. The 4 over the 9. And I need to go to the left hand side of the 6. So, I'm going to transfer it over there. Here is the center piece, and turn it upside down. So, piece comes up there. Now this is gonna happen a lot that the four isn't isn't up there with the six but down and the pieces have well the numbers have swaps. But there's an algorithm to do it. But you're not gonna hold a cube like this when the as the eight and the two is facing you, but you're gonna hold it with the four and nine facing you. Then you're going to say front inverted. Inverted means you're going to turn the, uh, the cube anti-clockwise. So we're going to turn, so it is front inverted, up left inverted. So we're going to turn the front position here anti-clockwise. 
like this. Then the up position here and turn clockwise. And left and right, so it's turn the left position anti clockwise. And here we have four and our nine. But as you can see, our center pieces here now been swapped to the right and to the left, which we don't want with this, which is always happened with this algorithm. So now we just transfer the cube to a number we haven't put in yet. Let's just do this one uh, because it doesn't matter. And then we just turn it, our center pieces up right again. Except for this one because he uh, must be already, um, is already upside down. So turn it, the number here. Turn it upside down and turn it back. Now you already got two numbers off the cross. So now we're going to put the cube down again and look at our diagram. So there's the six side. We're going to want the right hand side. And this is three, as you can see. Over a three. So now we're going to search for our cube for the three over the three. Uh, here it is, three over three. And we're going to transfer it to the right hand side of the six. And now Turn the centerpiece upside down so that our piece is hopefully in, but it isn't. So the same algorithm, remember, not here, but uh, decide where you're where you've put the number in. So front inverted up and left inverted. Here we have our three and a three. And again, the center pieces here are swapped. So this number we've still not put in. So we're going to transfer the cube down there and swap it right. Now, the one is the front side. And we already put the 8 and the 2 in. So he's upside down. So you really need to focus here, which is upside down and which is upright. And here we have... It, it is the place where we just had three and a three is also upside down. Just let's put it here. Also need it upside down. And west is supposed to be right. So, yeah. Now the six side faces the one. We have an eight and a two, a four and a nine, or a three and a three. Three pieces of the cross. Now we're going back to our diagram. Six side. This time we want to have the the top side uh, above the six. And here it is. This one a little bit upside down. It's a five over a two. So now we're gonna search for a five over over two. Five over, here is the 5 over the 2. So we don't want to just uh, transfer this number like, um, the, like with the middle. Otherwise our centerpiece is just going to be crazy and chaotic. So it's going to take it out. Up right again, well upside down. And for it to where we want it to go. And here it is. We line the six and we turn it. And now, as you can see, the piece is already right, so you, you didn't need to do that. Or algorithm, and you have got your cross. Now we're going to do the corners. So if you're going back to the diagram, 
here is the corners. This is the part we already have. But here's the corners. We start with this corner. And you can start with whatever corner you want. So it's a 7 over a upside down, upside down 4, which is next to a upside down 6. 7 over a 4 over a 6. So, now we're going back to our cube and search for the 7 over the 4 over the 6. Here's a 7, but it's a 3 and a 1. Oh, here it is. A 7 over the upside down 4, which is next to an upside down 6. And you need to go here. So, we're gonna take him out by turning a cube like this. Just take him away. So if we can turn our centerpiece upside down again. So, now it's in the right position where we need to go. Up here. Now, we need to turn the cube to uh, the position, uh, to this position which is facing you where the uh, corner piece needs to go. And then you're going to do this algorithm. It's rather a fun algorithm. It's right inverted, down inverted, right down. So, there it is. And we're going to do right inverted. So we're going to turn the right side here. And um, anti-clockwise. And downside here, also anti-clockwise. Then, we're going to turn it clockwise, which is right, and then we're going to turn it, uh, the downside, also clockwise. And sometimes the 7 and the 6 and the 4 is already oriented, but sometimes it's not, which, in this, which is this case. So... If it isn't alright already in the right position, you do it again. So we're gonna do right inverted, so right inverted, down inverted, and right down. Now it's over here, not up there. So we're gonna do it again. So it almost like the uh, it's begin to sound like a song if you repeat it to yourself. So then it is it's again. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And now we have our 7 over the 6 and the 4 in the right position, our first corner piece. Now we're going to put a cube down again and look at our diagram. Our next corner is the, the one here, which is over the 5 and the 9 so now we're going to search for the 1 over the 5 and the 9 is right here so it need to go up here so first gonna transfer it down there transfer it down where there we need to go and as I said like this now we're going to do the same algorithm again. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. So, to get our corner piece there. So, right inverted, down inverted, right down. It's not correct yet. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. Still not. Right inverted, down inverted, right down down right inverted down inverted right down right inverted down inverted right down and here we have a one over the five and the nine back to the diagram uh, here we need the two corner piece two over uh, 8 and 5. Keep that in mind. 2 over an 8 and a 5. Let's search for that. 2 over an 
eight and five, which is right here, it goes here. And now we do the same thing which we did before. So this right inverted, down inverted, right down, right inverted, down inverted, right down, right inverted, down inverted, right down. And here we have our two in the right position. Back to the diagram again. Going to the last corner piece, which is the nine over the six and the eight. The nine over the six and the eight. So nine over the six it is right here. I need to go here and the same thing. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. Right inverted, down inverted, right. Down, right over, down over, right, down, right over, down over, right, right, down, right over, down over, right, down, right over, down over, right, down, right over, down over, right, down, and here you have solved your first side of the Sudoku cube. Now that you've solved your first side of this cube, you, sh you should turn the cube down so the six side faces faces down. And as you'll notice is that the the first row here is solved. So the next thing we want to do is solve this this second row here. And you'll also notice that we only the center pieces is correct. So let's start at this side. Now if we look at a diagram, we see that a 7 and a 3 needs to go there. So now we're going to search here on, on top for the 7 and the, tr uh, and the 3. Sometimes it's not even on top, but there. Then you just go over to another side. But let's look ready. Here's a 7 and a 3. And it needs to go here. So now you transfer it to the side where it need to go, which is which is here. Now you want to get them down there. Now, in uh, you you need to do two algorithms. So if you need to go to the right, then there, uh, to the right there's an algorithm. If you need to go to the left, there's another algorithm. Today it needs to go to the left. So then the algorithm is up inverted, left inverted, up, left, up, front, up inverted, front inverted. So up inverted, left inverted, up, left, up, front, up inverted, front inverted. There you see, and there you go. Our seven and a three is there. The next one is a one and a two. So now we search for the one and the two. No, it's not on top. So we're just gonna leave it there because it's just gonna cause us trouble to take our one and a two from there there so let's go to the next side so the four side I'm gonna go an eight and a six see if they have that nope only an eight and a five go on to the next side and and so on until we find one five and eight we just saw that so here it is transfer him over here and he needs to go to the right so here's another algorithm it goes like this up right up inverted right inverted up inverted front inverted up right front not not right okay so 
up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. Here we have our piece, but it's not correctly oriented. So that is gonna happen a lot of times if you solve this second layer. So now we need to take them out with another piece. So now we do need, need to do the same algorithm and then get the piece back up there and do it again. So up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front see all right 603 well what that was up there is now down here so now we search here's our eight and the five transfer it back again now a way to see if it, if if the numbers is gonna be flipped is you're gonna see if it's like this and you just picture yourself going like this it you're gonna see it's gonna be flipped so just that's just to uh, skip this step if you want but Otherwise, you can just do this. So, doing it again. Up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, right. And here we have our 5 and the 8. Now, now let's move on. Next one, 7 side, 7 and 3. We've already done that one. So, gonna search for the one and the two up here. Nope, he's still not. He's still not up there. So, moving on. Four side. It's an eight and a six. Hopefully, the eight and the six is up there. Also not up there. Okay, and. Five and the eight, and now we're back where we started. So now we see the one and the two here. We've we wanted them for a long time. So now you just do any of of the left or right algorithms to get this piece up here, and then put them into the right place. So we need to go to the right. So we do the right algorithm. So it's up, right, up inverted, right inverted. Up inverted, front inverted, up, front, and num the orientation is wrong again. The numbers is flipped, so no, just put this piece in. So do the same up, right, up and up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted up front one and two one and two get them there put them in up up uh, right up inverted right inverted up inverted front inverted up right and we have our one and the two in place oh four four side we go Eight and a six. Oh, the eight and a six is there. Let's go to the right again. Okay, so up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up inverted, front. Numbers is flipped again. The same. Up, right, up inverted, right inverted. Up inverted, front inverted, up, front. Piece there. Oh, there it is. Do it. Up, right, up, inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. Oh, front inverted. Up, front. We have another piece. Uh, correct. Okay, go on to the five. Uh, to the one. To the one side. Oh, we already have the one side. 
Seven inside. There's a guy left. And now, as you see, you have solved the complete second layer. So our next step to do is solving this cross up here. It's the second cross. Now it is a very tricky part. So gonna you just wanna play around between two algorithms, but your objective is is to get these pieces right here. It doesn't matter how the one is oriented, forget about the one, it's the centerpiece. Just get these pieces, this 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 top pieces of the of the block uh, let it f the let it face up so so uh, for example here is a 9 and an 8 it's actually supposed to be an 8 and a 9 so just by playing around with two algorithms this 8 will um, you want to get this 8 up doesn't matter if it's not if it's not with the 6 and the 3 or whatever and with all these pieces now the two algorithms is one which is uh, front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. See, so already got these these two. They the they face up. Only these two is still wrong. Okay, now let's try the other algorithm, which is right, up right inverted up right up up right inverted up still only uh, still only got these two so let's try the other one again so just just by doing this you're just gonna play around with it until it's right front right up right inverted up inverted front inverted you see now I got uh, all these pieces so that they flipped right and actually I've got the cross but it's not always gonna happen so uh, bad examples is just show you what else you need to do if it's not so I kind of want to show you how it looks like when the didn't came out as the cross as we did before so then these two is swap, but these two is right. So there is an algorithm to swap these two around. It's actually a very popular uh, Rubik's Cube uh, solving algorithm. It's called the T-perm. So if you want to learn it, you can you can just Google T-perm Rubik's Cube solving, and it's gonna sh show you what is the uh, what is the instructions you need to do f for the t -perm. it's a really long algorithm and it goes like like this so you want to swap these two let's begin so it's right up right inverted up inverted right inverted front right right up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, right, up, right inverted, front inverted. As you can see here, the two numbers is swapped. I actually wrote it down here for you. Actually, all the perms, but you don't want to use the other perms because it swaps your centerpieces and it's just really messy so uh, here's the algorithm if you if you want to learn it so I kind of want to show you again what it would be if uh, two pieces were swapped like this the before uh, I showed you if two pieces was swapped like this but uh, it could either be this or this and it's yeah, you never know when, when when each one is gonna happen. So here we have these two swap. Now we do the Y perm. So if you wanna learn it, search Y perm Ruby's cube solving. 
Okay, so it it goes like this. You always hold the cube like this. At, at the two pieces you want to swap would always be at this side. So maybe uh, sometimes this two will be the ones you want to swap. Then you need to hold like this. So but this was so. Okay, so it goes like this: S front, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, right, up, right inverted, front inverted, right, up right inverted up inverted right inverted front right front inverted and you should have your cross these two pieces should be swapped so now you notice that the cross is perfect except for the one. Now, how the heck are you going to get that right? So there's an algorithm, a very short algorithm, that kind of allows you to not put, move these pieces, although it looks like it, and then uh, rotate the, the center piece uh, right. So it goes like this, very short. So it's right, up, right inverted, up. You, you, you repeat that the whole time until you, uh, your centerpiece is right. So it's right, up, right inverted, up. This piece is still, this piece is now wrong orientation. So, and uh, so it's, then it's again, right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, right inverted, up. And as you can see, our one is now rotated right. Uh, the maximum times you're going to repeat that is six times don't go over six if you if it's over six and it's not rotated right you've done something wrong just know that after you've got your second cross here you need to do this corners and it's not gonna work like the first cross like putting in corner for corner because you're just gonna mess up the whole cube so if you go back at the diagram here at the one side we wanted to do this corners so there's a 4 and a 6 and a 7, and an 8 and a 9 and a 6, and a 3 and a 1 and a 7, and a 7 and a 3 and a 1. Okay, so we're just going to have it with us here. It's going to look it for reference because we're not going to put it in corner for corner as I said before. But with an algorithm that will put them in the right position. So first we want to search for one that may be right, but remember how you have had your cube right. So we're going to search around the cube. This one is, is not correct. This one is not correct. This one is not correct. And this one, this one is also not correct. Okay, nothing is correct. So we had our cube like this. And so now we do this algorithm and it goes like this. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. So, let's try it out. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. Aha, uh -huh. now we can search again if something is right. This one is not correct. This one is not correct. This one is also not correct. And this one is correct. As, as we can see, as you can see here, it's 
seven and a three and a one. This one is correct. So now we're gonna hold the cube where this piece is and do the algorithm again. So it's up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. So, so now we have this one that is correct, this one is correct, this one is correct, and this one is indeed correct. So, now where we had our cube is here. Now, how you put those blocks in, those pieces in, is the same as you did the, the third cross. Corner for corner, but right in, right in a uh, right position. So now you do right inverted, down inverted, right down. Okay, so let's try it. Then it will automatically, magically, comes right. So let's do it. So it's... So it's right inverted, down inverted, right, down. 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 And here we have our seven correct as we see here. And now we turn uh, we turn it cl uh, clock clockwise to the next corner. So this one needs to be the three up here. So let's do it. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. It's, it, is, it is correct. Clockwise again to the next one. Which, uh, which need to be the five. So let's do it again. So then it is right inverted, down inverted, right, down, 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 and one is also correct. For the last time, clockwise, needs to be the 4, so look out for that, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Way to go, you have solved your Sudoku cube.